Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to automate maintenance requests with Google Forms and Google Chats. So I am an owner of a business and I have created a form for maintenance request with the help of Google Forms. So here my objective is that, that whenever a new form submission is going to be done with the help of Google Forms by any of my employees regarding the maintenance request, automatically I should receive a message notification in my Google Chat space that I've created regarding the maintenance request that has been raised. For that, what we're going to do is we are going to create an automation between Google Forms and Google Chats with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Google Forms and my action application is going to be Google Chat. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to automate maintenance requests with Google Forms and Google Chats. So here my objective is that, that I have created a maintenance request form with the help of Google Forms so that any of my employees who's going to raise up the maintenance request over here with the help of this form automatically when the form submission is done, a message should be forwarded in our Google Chat space. For that, what we're going to do is we're going to create an automation between Google Forms and Google Chat with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as automate maintenance request with Google Forms and Google Charts. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that we have to click on this drop down and right over here. So these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select Google Forms Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After selecting a folder and giving a name to our workflow, we're going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of automate maintenance request with Google Forms and Google Chats and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two steps. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step. For that we click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our trigger application. And for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Google Forms as we want then whenever a maintenance request form submission is done which I have created with the help of Google Forms, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. That is why we are selecting a trigger application as Google Forms. And next it is asking for the trigger event. For the trigger event, we are going to select it as new response received. After selecting a trigger application and the event, you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to connect Google Forms with Pabli Connect by following the steps given here below. Firstly, we are going to copy this URL from here. So as I have copied the URL from here, now we are going to use this URL to connect Google Forms with Pabli Connect. For that, I am going to open the form that I have created with the help of Google Forms. So as you can see that this is the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms and it is asking for all the details like name, email address, maintenance required, date, urgency and more details. So this is the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms in the name of maintenance request form. And I want to connect this form with Pabli Connect so that whenever a new response is captured with the help of this form or a new form submission is done, automatically Pabli Connect should also capture the response. So how are we going to connect Pabli Connect with this form? For that we to click on responses right over here. Over here you can see it says link to sheets. We are going to click on it. 
then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is saying select destination for responses i'm going to create a new spreadsheet so that my responses are going to be saved in the spreadsheet but if you want you can select the existing spreadsheet after selecting on create a new spreadsheet i'm going to click on create so this is the spreadsheet that is linked to the form that we have created that means whenever new response is going to be captured with the help of this form automatically the details of this form is going to be captured in the spreadsheet under these fields so these are the same fields that we have created in our form that i've created right over here so what we're going to do is we're going to connect this spreadsheet with pabli connect so that whenever a new data is going to be captured into the spreadsheet automatically pabli connect is also going to capture the response so how we are going to connect this spreadsheet with pabli connect for that we have to click on extensions right over here then from extensions we are going to click on add-ons and then on get add-ons then a new window is going to appear in front of you on which on the search bar we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhook. So I'm going to search for Pabli Connect Webhook. So I'm going to select it. Then we're going to select Pabli Connect Webhook right over here. Then as you can see that I've already installed Pabli Connect Webhook. So I'm going to move further. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webhook, so please do install it so that you will be unable to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook. So if I'm going to take you back to extensions right over here. Now it is saying Pabli Connect Webhooks right over here. We're going to click on it. And then we're going to click on initial setup. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for the webhook URL in the trigger column. For the URL, we are going to paste the URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. And for the trigger column right over here, it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which of the data is added. So in place of this trigger column in this spreadsheet, the trigger column is going to be column G. As you can see, this was the final column on which of the data is going to be added. So I'm going to write over here as column G. After pasting the URL and selecting the trigger column, we are going to click on submit. As you can see right away, it says setup configured successfully. So now the steps which I'm going to tell you are very important. So please do not forget to follow the steps. Firstly, we have to click on extensions again. And then we have to click on public in it webhooks again. And over here, you can see it says sent on event. We are going to click on it. Over here, it is saying working. After loading, over here, we're going to click on extensions again. And then we're going to click on Pabli Connect Webhooks again. Over here, you can see in front of send on event, a tick mark is there. I've clicked on send on event because as soon as the form submission is going to be done and the response is going to be captured into the spreadsheet, automatically Pabli Connect is also going to capture the response. That is why it is very important to click on send on event so that the new data is going to be forwarded to Pabli Connect from this spreadsheet. So after connecting the spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, we are going to check whether the connection between Pabli Connect and spreadsheet is successful or not. As in Pabli Connect, it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a test submission of the form that we have created. And we are going to check whether Pabli Connect is going to capture the response of the form submission or not. For that, what we have to do is we have to click on send right over here. We have to click on this button and then we are going to copy this link from here. Then on a new tab, we are going to paste the link right over here. Then we are going to enter. So as you can see, this is the form that I've created right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill this form and then we're going to submit the form. Firstly, for the name, I'm going to write it as dummy user 123. For the email address, we're going to write it as dummy user 123 at the rate pablitudes.com. For the maintenance required over here in the drop down, you can see these are the machineries that needs maintenance. So I'm going to select it as CNC machines. It is asking for the date next. So for the date, we're going to select it as today's date. That is 12th of April 2024. For the urgency, I'm going to select it as high. And for the more details, I'm going to write here the query of the maintenance. So I'm going to write it as machine requires cleaning. So this is the query that is raised for the maintenance. After filling all the details, we're going to click on submit to submit the form. As you can see right over here, the form submission has done. Over here it says, got it, we'll work on the resolution. So this means that the form submission is done successfully. Now I'm going to open the spreadsheet that is directly linked to this form and we're going to check whether the data is transferred into our spreadsheet or not. I'm going to open it. And yes, as you can see right over here, the data is successfully transferred into our spreadsheet. Over here you can see, for the timestamp, a time is there. For the name as dummy user 123, email as dummy user 123 at the rate pabletudes.com. Maintenance required for CNC machines. For the date, the date as 12th of April 2024. For the urgency as high. And for more detail as machine requires cleaning. So this means that the data is successfully transferred into the spreadsheet. But now we could check whether data is successfully captured by Pabli Connect or not. For that, I'm going to open my Pabli Connect account. I'm going to scroll down and yes, as you can see right over here, the response is successfully captured in our Pabli Connect account. For the urgency as high, for the timestamp, a timestamp over here. For the spreadsheet name as maintenance request form responses. 
For the name over here as dummy user 1 2 3 more details as machine requires cleaning maintenance required for CNC machines email address as dummy user 1 2 3 at the rate pablitudes.com for the date 12th of April 2024 so this means that we is fully connected Google Forms with Pabli Connect and our trigger setup is done now as we want that whenever a new form submission or a maintenance request is raised with the help of form submission automatically the request that has been raised should be forwarded on our Google Chats space that we have created for that what we're going to do is we're going to set up our action step by clicking on this arrow right over here and for the action application we're going to select it as google chat so i'm going to select my action application as google chat and for the action event we're going to select it as create message after selecting our action application and the event we're going to click on connect in order to connect google chat with pabli connect over here you can see it is asking for the chat webbook URL in the message. For the chat webbook URL we are going to click on learn more right over here to learn how to get the information for chat webbook URL. Over here you will be directed towards this page if you are going to scroll down over here it says register the incoming webbook. So by following the steps given here below we will receive the chat webbook URL that is required. For that we are going to open the space that we have created in our Google chat account. So this is the space that I've created in my Google chat account in the name of maintenance request and I want that whenever a request is raised with the help of form submission that we have created with the help of Google Forms automatically the raised request for the maintenance should be posted on this space that we have created. For that we're going to connect this space with Pabli Connect. How are we going to do that? For that you have to click on maintenance request right over here. Then from these options we have to select apps and integrations. Over here you can see it says webbooks, we're going to click on it and over here you can see it says webbooks, we're going to click on add webbooks right over here. It is asking for the name of the webbook, so for the name I'm going to write it as test connection, so this is the name of my webbook. Then it is asking for the avatar URL, so if I'm going to take you back to the forum that was here, over here you can see for avatar URL we have to paste the URL that is provided right over here. So I'm going to copy this URL from here and I'm going to paste the URL right over here. After that we're going to click on save right over here. After that you can see over here webbook is created as you can see right over here. So we are going to copy this URL from here and then we are going to paste the URL right over here. So this is the chat webbook URL of, of the space that we have created with the help of Google chat. So I am going to close this forum right over here. After pasting the chat webbook URL it is asking for the message. What message do we want to forward to the space that we have created in our Google chat account. So for the message I am going to write it as. So this is the message that I want to forward to my space that I have created in my Google chat account which says. Hi team I hope this message finds you well. We have a new maintenance request that requires our attention. Here are the details, the requester, name of the machine, description and the urgency. Please review the request and assist it to the appropriate team member for resolution. If additional information is needed, feel free to reach out to the requester directly. Thank you for your prompt attention to this matter. Best regards. So this is the message that I want to forward to my team. Now for the details for the requester, name of the machine and the description and urgency, we are going to fill all the details. And how we are going to fill all the details? What we are going to do is for the data right over here, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from our previous step response that we have received. So over here it says Google Forms new response received. So this was the previous step of this automation process as you can see right over here. By clicking on this arrow you can see this was the response that was captured in our previous step. Over here as it is asking for the requester over here I am going to map the data of the name of, or the requester who have raised the query. So I am going to map the data right over here. As I map the data right over here the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. Next it is asking for the name of the machine so we are going to map the data again click right over here on this arrow. So this was the response that was captured in our previous step. So for the machine I am going to select it as CNC machines as you can see right over here. Next it is asking for the description over here we are going to put the query that is received in our previous response. So I am going to select it as the data that we have received right over here that is more details that is machine requires cleaning. So I have mapped the data for the description right over here. Then for the urgency we are going to map the data for the urgency as you can see right over here. So as I mapped all the data right over here the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured into our previous step automatically the data in these fields where we have mapped the data is going to be updated. And as the data right over here, we have written it manually. So the data has now become static in these places. That means it is not going to be updated. So after pasting the chat webbook URL and the message right over here, we are going to click on save and send test request. 
as you can see right over here we have received a response and this is a positive response right over here so now i'm going to open my space that i've created it within my google chat account and i'm going to check whether i have received a new message regarding the maintenance request raised up or not for that i'm going to open my space that i've created in my google chat account i'm going to go back and yes as you can see right over here a message is forwarded on the space that we have created in our google chat it says hi team i hope this message finds you well we have new maintenance request that requires our attention here are the details requester as dummy user one two three name of the machine as cnc machines description as machine requires cleaning urgency as hi please review the request and assist it to the appropriate team member for resolution if additional information is needed feel free to reach out to the requester directly thank you for your prompt attention to this matter best regards so the message over here is so the message over here is successfully forwarded on the chat that we have created in on the space that we have created in our Google Chats. So this means that we fully created an automation between Google Forms and Google Chat with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another form submission of the maintenance request and I'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on the space that we have created in our Google Chat account or not. For that, I'm going to do another form submission. Firstly, I'm going to open the form that I've created. I'm going to open the form. So this is the form that I've created. I'm going to do another form submission. For that, you have to click on send right over here. You have to click on this button and then we're going to copy this URL from here and then we're going to paste the URL right over here and then we're going to click on enter so this is the form that I've created and I'm going to fill in all the details right over here so I have filled in all the details of the form that was required for the name as test demo 258 for the email as test demo 258 at the rate .com. for the maintenance required I have selected as generators for the date as 12th of April 2024 for the urgency as medium and for more details I have written it as fluid checks and changes after filling all the details I am going to click on submit to submit the form. As you can see right away, it says got it, we'll work on the resolutions. This means the form submission that we have done is done successfully. So now I'm going to open the space that I've created in my Google chat account and I'm going to check whether I have received a new message on the concern raised for the maintenance or not. For that, I'm going to open my Google chat space that I've created. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new message is forwarded on my Google chat space that I've created. It says, hi team, I hope this message finds you well. We have a new maintenance request that requires our attention. Here are the details. Requester as test demo 258. Name of the machine as generators. Description as fluid checks and changes. For the urgency as medium, please review the request and assist it to the appropriate team member for resolution. If additional information is needed, feel free to reach out to the requester directly. Thank you for your prompt attention to this matter. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Google Forms and Google Chat with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. Here my objective was that, that I have created a maintenance request form with the help of Google Forms. And my objective was that whenever a new form submission is done for the maintenance request, automatically the request that is raised with the help of form should be forwarded as a message in our Google Chat space that we have created. And for that, we have created an automation between Google Forms and Google Chats with the help of Pabli Connect. And this is how we create an automation between these two applications. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or doubts. And please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions and doubts. And please share this video. And thank you for watching.